I looked at her and I thought, oh my God, I know her. You could see her. I could see her there. Oh. I just, I had to know more about her. I had to know everything about her. Oh, I was blown away. Um... Electric. Um, exquisite. She's very wild. She's very wild. And she had, she had such bravery in her. And but she also had this darkness. She was macabre. Happy. She was a very happy woman. Tormented, I think. But she was also just breathtaking. Well, I, I'd heard tell of this of this icon, and of course she was just an icon at that point, but I think just finding out a few more intimate details about Olivia kind of really drew me to her. Most of it came from life, so I, I didn't realise it was happening when it was happening. I mean, I was totally overwhelmed, absolutely overwhelmed. It took me a long time to even gather the courage to say anything to her. She was just larger than life. And to see so much conflict and contrast in one person. You know, she'd be centre of attention at one minute, lapping it all up, and then she'd be with me crying in the toilets the next minute, you know. She was so she was so broken inside, so struggling, and I loved that conflict in her. She had these amazing facets to herself, this kind of shiny black facade that was this way of, of presenting herself and presenting herself the way she wanted to, but there was the things that I saw, the truth within her. There was just this person needing intimacy. I don't know if I'd like to share that with you, if I'm quite honest. It's not in the biography, and so I'd rather not have it filmed on camera. Um, but it was an intimate memory. No other people involved, that's all you need to know. Thank <laughs> you.